Hi everyone. So this is going to be a random episode because I am feeling very autistic today. Um, Not just today, this week. I've been feeling very autistic this week. And I'm sure you guys will be able to relate to my brain. I don't know necessarily if you'll be able to relate to some of the shit that's happened. But, you know, my brain is just all over the place. It's like fried. Uh, I'm just going to talk about some of what happened this week. So... I just got done yesterday having worked several days, um, 12 hours a day, just working on books. And so it started Friday and it ended yesterday. And um, yeah, uh, I did not see all that work coming at once. This usually happens like twice a year. Um, Like, you know, like where the feast or famine concept where I get like the feast, I only get like so much work at once a couple of times a year and I end up just working for days to get it all done on time. Um, I don't recommend that, but I like what I do. I wasn't really too, too bothered by it other than the fact that who the fuck knew that sitting, sorry about the swearing. I don't know if I'm going to keep working on it at this point. (laughs) I probably should, but I don't know. Um, But, you know, who knew that sitting for hours upon hours, like, uh, hurts your back? That sounds like such a stupid thing to say because it's like, duh, of course it would. Like, you're not moving. Um, And no, I don't. For those of you thinking, like, get a standing desk. Fuck that. I am not standing and doing work. No, thank you. Like, that's just distracting. I'm not going to. No, I can't do that. Um, it has to be sitting. So I have been just sitting, 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 doing book after book after book. Um, 12 hours a day, like I said, I would like maybe watch TV or something for a couple of hours and then my eyes would stop working and I would go to sleep and then I would wake up and start it all over again. And I can only get away with this because we don't have children and I work from home. And we don't have pressing obligations or anything like that. So that's how I get to do that. Although I don't like it when it's days in a row. Um, But the payoff with the money at the end is totally worth it. But anyways, so I just gave up on my routines last week. um, Because like the workload started about a week ago. Uh, No, what's today? Thursday? No, it started like, yeah, about a week ago. And... So I started getting into the work and then I just kind of kept getting books like left and right. And I realized I, I just, I I do this sometimes. Sometimes I just, I stop with my routines. You know, I don't do the stuff that I do in the morning every single day, um, which I've talked about before. And I don't do the stuff at night that I always do when work is this busy Um, and it's very strange because if somebody else interrupts my routines, I get pissed. And by somebody else, it's usually Alicia and I get pissed. I'm like, why are you interrupting me? You know what time it is. And you know, like a fucking wacko. And so, um, but if I decide to just forego my routines until I can get some time back, then I'm fine with that. It doesn't bother me. It's just weird. You know, um, I don't know, control issues or whatever, but, uh, yeah, so those had to go because that's like two hours. That's an hour in the morning and an hour at night that I needed to devote toward working on people's books. So like, I didn't even know what day it was yesterday. I couldn't believe it was already Wednesday. Um, cause I feel like today's Monday or whatever. That's how long I've been just like at my computer but I'm not complaining. It's just, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Oh, and another thing that was like, that's been a little bit frustrating is like, I'm so close to being done with like my next journal and I'm supposed to be releasing these like once a month per what I said I was going to do. And I just don't know that I'm going to be able to do it again this month. Cause I think I skipped one month already. And for those of you who like have purchased them, thank you. That's so nice of you. Um, I feel super awkward and embarrassed, but thanks for buying them. And yeah, so if there's anybody chomping at the, champing at the bit, chomping at, who the fuck came up with that saying? Champing, chomping? 
at what bit? The horse's bit? Like, what is that? The thing that goes in the horse's mouth? I don't know what that even means, but I kind of do. So if there's anybody out there, this is my brain, guys. I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, shit. If there's anybody out there... Oh, that's like dying to read my next journal, which I know that there's not. It's coming. It's about freelancing, uh, believe it or not. Um, I wouldn't say that I give very good advice. I'm just talking about um, what freelancing has been like for me for the past five years. And it's been way more positive than negative. So I thought I would just kind of write about it in case anybody out there is sick of working for other people and just want to start a business yourself. But anyways, moving right along. So yesterday, being like the last day of all that work I was doing, my brain was just having a hard time functioning properly. Like all of my energy and attention just about has been on books. It's very little for like anything else. Um, and so Alicia had asked me, hey, do you want, um, do you want a burrito? I'm going to make some. And she makes really good burritos. And sometimes I'm hungry enough where I want to eat with her at the same time. Cause like usually are like, I'm not, I don't get hungry until like way, way later in the evening. Um, which is kind of like my lunch, I guess. I don't know based on when I get up, but so she asked if I wanted a burrito and I was pretty hungry and I was like, no, thanks. And she was surprised because I never say no to her burritos. And the reason I said no was because she makes them too big. So in my mind, I just saw these big burritos that she would always make. And I just, it felt like if I ate the whole thing, I would feel like it would be too heavy in my stomach. And I didn't want to eat all that. Do you think it fucking crossed my mind that burritos can be made smaller? No. Because she asked, just like, you don't want a burrito? Why? And I said, because you make them too big. (laughs) And she's like, you do realize I can make them smaller. Um, no, I didn't realize that. That did not cross my mind. Can you believe this shit? How does our brains work like this? I am so good at things and so terrible at just like simple thinking. I don't know. So of course I said yes to the burrito because yeah, you can make them smaller. Like what the fuck am I thinking? Um, and while we're on that subject of like Alicia, She's got an academy appointment next week. So like this past week has been, it hasn't been like rough or anything. It's just like we've been short with each other um, because we've both had stuff going on. And like, it's just like, what a difference academy makes. Holy shit. For those three weeks, it was like, not that, like, I don't know how to, I'm not good at talking and explaining things. Because I'm going to make her sound like she's an asshole now, but she's not when she's on ketamine. And that's not the truth. It's just so different. Like, she seems happy and engaged um, with life and, you know, with me. And it's just nice. So, like, that's kind of fizzled away because it's been a bit since she did that retreat. And so she was able to figure out that insurance does, in fact, cover some of the cost but it's still pretty expensive um, to do individual sessions with ketamine. So she's got one next week with the same lady that did the retreat. I, th- I think it's like a two or three hour session when it's just Alicia and it's the the therapist and I have to drive her again there and back, which I'm okay with because I know how to get there and back now. Um, only with Google Maps, not with my brain. But anyways, so... I think the cost, I have to ask her, Just in, this is just in case anybody's wondering, I'm not like, oh, look at all the money we have, because we don't have a lot of money. This is just um, stuff that we've saved, and she's using some of her school money that she doesn't really need to use for school on this, so um, don't tell anybody, but so yesterday we were talking about it, and just the fact that she has it coming up next week has changed like her uh, mood, like it's better most of the time now. I don't know. It's like when you're looking forward to something, of course, you're going to feel better about it. And like things look brighter and cheerier or whatever the fuck. But I think the total cost is about $500. Um, cause what did I say the retreat was, you know, I'm not good with like, 
I'm pretty sure 500. I know it's in the hundreds. It's like 500 or more, but I think it's like 500. Sorry, I'm not on any, on anything. I'm just talking very poorly. But uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And so is she because that means we can have another few weeks of good times. <laughs> oh my God. I, like, I promised I was a good drug counselor. I was. I didn't use drugs. I don't know why I just said that, but it sounds like I'm a drug pusher and I'm not like, I'm just, for those of you who have depression or know somebody who has depression, or maybe you're like married with somebody who has depression, like, and if you've ever had experiences where something worked for them, like a medication of some sort, and you, like you see the huge difference, it's so sad when that goes away and it's not her fault. I'm not blaming her. It's not her fault that she has depression. It's just like, wow, after 10 years, I didn't even know that this version of her existed. So I'm looking forward to her experience next week. And that's that. Um, I think I have turned one of my cats, like I think, I don't know if Stockholm syndrome is like the right term or like a cat of cults or cults of cats or something. Oh, I need to stop talking soon. Um... But you remember I was talking about Morpheus, a.k.a. Krampus, and how he was just acting really odd for like a few weeks. And then he just snapped back to being normal again, except now he loves me more and follows me everywhere. So since he's now doing that, I've been doing things to try to make sure that he never stops. Um... This cat is just, I don't know, I, I could go on and on. But anyways, so like I find myself sneaking him little treats here and there or, you know, I don't know. I just, I feel like I have him under my thumb. And this is great because I have been trying to get this cat to follow me around for years. I just want another cat to follow me around everywhere I go. It's fun. In the house. <laughs> And, you know, Hades does it a lot, but he yells a lot too. He doesn't like when I'm like moving around too much and doing things in the house. He follows me around. And he's like, wow, 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 because he wants me just to sit the fuck down. And so he's like my supervisor. But Krampus is the opposite. He's a nice supervisor and he follows me around and he's quiet and he just keeps tabs on what I'm doing. And I don't want that cat to stop doing what he's doing because that would be so sad. I've put so much work into this. I sound like an act. I am a cat lady. Yeah, I'm a cat lady. Um, anyways, um, another thing this week that I'm not going to say names. I'm just going to say somebody's mugshot looks evil. Um... That's all I'm going to say. You might know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm not going to explain. But somebody's mugshot looked pretty evil this week. And I did not like it. I did not like how that made me feel. It was kind of like, man, why can't everybody just like be, why can't we just get along? Like, this sounds so stupid to say. And like, but seriously, why can't people just stop hating each other? Um... And that's what that mugshot reminded me of is just hate and evil. And anyways, I'm going to move on from that. Um, we went out there a few days ago to try to put up. So like we were working on this porch. This is like the second year of working on the porch. Alicia has all the boards down now. So we just need to put up the railing. And then anything else that we do to the porch is just for like decor or whatever which we probably won't even get to this year. So we go out there and she wants help with putting this railing up and I don't know what to do. So I just tell her, like, just tell me what to do. Like, what do you want me to hold and blah, blah, blah. And so we tried for like 20 minutes and then I was up at the top of the stairs. She was at the bottom. I was trying to keep the railing steady up at my part, like where I was, so she could like I don't know, measure or something down there. And so it just, it fell and I just said, fuck this. And I went inside and I didn't even realize that it was super quiet in the neighborhood. And I'm pretty sure that a good portion of people heard me who were outside or had their windows open. And um, 
Yeah, I'd, I usually am more controlled when I'm in public, but I guess I didn't view that as being in public since it was just outside our house. Um, but yeah, like my, this was before the days of work that I had. So maybe this was like more than a few days ago. I think it was like over the weekend, maybe. Yeah, it was because like I took a break from work to go help her. And when, if I'm trying at something and I'm trying at something and I'm trying at something and it's just not working, I can't do it for very much longer without taking a break because it just gets too frustrating. Um, and I don't like feeling frustrated. So yeah, that's why I just was like, fuck this. And she's like, what, really? And I'm like, sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Um, I don't know why I do that. It's just like I've had too much and I just want to step away from whatever the thing is that is making me feel frustrated. And it's probably because I'm frustrated. I don't like feeling that way. I don't know anybody who does. And I just want to be able to do everything right the first time. And that's never going to happen. Um, so yeah, the whole neighborhood got to hear my potty mouth. Um, speaking of which, so I'm sitting here in my recliner, which is like, if I have to set the scene for you again, it's right by the front door in the window that goes out to the front. So I've had the window open every day because it's just been nice out and it's nice having the air in. And I'm sitting here working and Alicia gets home yesterday. Um, and the lady neighbor, like, you know, those new neighbors that moved in next door, the wife finally, like Alicia finally like met her because we haven't seen very much of her. So she was out like with her dog and Alicia got out of the car and like they were chatting and I could hear clearly like what the conversation was. And then I heard then, well, not, not all of it. It got quiet for a little bit. And then I heard Alicia say, um, my wife is antisocial. So, you know, please don't be like offended by that or anything. She's not like trying to be, you know, rude on purpose. And I was like, oh my God, she just told them I'm antisocial. That is fucking great because yes, please tell people, like let them know so that they don't come to me because you know what I said in that episode about I want to be friends with the tie-dyed guy? I don't know so much anymore. I knew that like I was opening my mouth too soon, but it's still socializing and I don't like it. I'm not good at it, even though I know that like that whole family's fucking autistic. I know they are, Um, but it terrifies me to have interactions with people that especially ones I don't know very well so when she came in through the door I just gave her a hard time I was like you asshole telling people I'm antisocial and she's like oh was I not is that not was I not supposed to say that and I'm like no of course you were because it's true (laughs) like don't lie to them (laughs) but um yeah I wasn't bothered I kind of wish that like she would do that more often Because I don't want to be bothered by people. I just, that sounds like an asshole thing to say. But yeah, so I had the opposite reaction. I was very pleased. And I told her to continue telling people this so that they don't bother me. Um, And to to end the episode, I only ordered ramen one time this week. Have I gone any weeks without ordering ramen? No. But I haven't ordered it more than twice in one week since, you know... All that money got spent on it. Um, And that's just where my brain is at. I am trying to finish my next journal up today. It needs to go out today because it's the last day of the month. But like my brain is having a hard time like working because I just want to do nothing. Um, But at the same time, it's like one o'clock in the middle of the day. Like I can't just lay here and do nothing. Like I don't do that. I'm always doing something, but I don't want to do things that take too much brain power. So guess what I have? I have, no, I'm not going to say, well, I guess I will. I have like a, well, we remember that, was it that last episode or two where I was talking about how I messed up the dosage for that chocolate bar? So it's 300 milligram. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong one. It's 150 milligrams of pot. I ate the whole bar that day and I thought that it was 15. I did not see the zero. I don't know why my brain didn't show me the zero. It was right after the five. I thought that that was only 15. And 
so by the time I got done with that episode, I remember feeling like, Ugh, and I looked at the package and I was like, oh shit, it was 150. There was a zero after that one five. So, but you know, it was a good time and I probably just going to have half of that today because I don't give a fuck anymore. I do not give a fuck. I just want to do nothing. I just want to eat this half of a chocolate bar and melt into my recliner and listen to podcasts or watch like good TV, even though I should be working. I don't know how helpful this episode was, but this is my brain this week. Um, I'm pretty sure once next week starts, I'll have blurred out this week in my mind. I won't remember most of it. So that's why I'm going to verbally record it. Um, Not that I want to remember most of this week, but you know when you have those really busy weeks and then you move on to the next one, it's like you forget half of what you did the week before, but you remember how you felt, like tired or stressed or annoyed. And that's kind of like where I'll probably be at. But um, yeah, so I, even though my brain's all over the place and my talking is like way worse than usual, um, I'm not bothered by it. So yeah, random autistic brain week. Mm, that's, I guess that's all I got. Well, thank you for listening. And if you still are, um, like if you're, oh God, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I gotta go. My, my mouth is just like, bleh, bye.